Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of area of composite figures. This is standard 7.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a rectangle, a triangle, and two congruent semicircles used to form this kind of looks like some type of vehicle here. So I need to find the area that is uh, of this composite figure, or at least find the estimate closest to that. And you notice uh, there's no decimals here, so it's going to be whole numbers only. So I need to add all of these areas, but take a look at these semicircles here. Since they're congruent, what I could do is I could, you know, find the area of a semicircle and I could double it, or I could just take both of these, put one on top of the other, and then find the full area of a circle. Because my area of a circle, right, is this. Area of a circle equals pi r squared. So the area of a semicircle would have to be that cut in half. But since there's two of them, I'm going to multiply by two, and those twos are going to cancel each other out. So I might as well just find the area of the whole circle. So I'm going to find the area of a circle, area of a rectangle, area of a triangle. So let's start with the hardest one, right? The area of a circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So remember that my pi is uh, approximately 3.14. That's my ratio of my circumference over my diameter. And then let me see what I've got right here. So my diameter equals 3, right? That's from side to side. So that means my radius is my diameter cut in half. So that is going to be uh, 3 halves, or that's going to be 1.5. So it's 1.5 squared. That's going to be the most math I'm going to have to do on this one. So let's figure out what 1.5 times itself is. So that's going to be 25.75. All right. So it's going to be 15. So we're going to call that... 225, two digits behind the decimal there, two digits behind the decimal there. So 225, 2.25, and I need to multiply this now by 3.14. Wow. All right, so let's figure that one out. So that's 20, that's 10, that's 8, that's 9. That 0 is going to be, e that 1 is going to be easy, that's going to be 225. And let's bring this 3, that's 15, that's 6, that's 7, that's 6. All right, so that's 0, 5, that's 7, that's 16, that's 10. All right, so 7, 0, 6, uh, 50, but I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, wow. 7.0650, so you know what, we're, let's just round this. Let's just call that 7. That's just about 7. That's going to be the hardest one. 7 centimeters squared. This is base times height, so 8 times 6, that's 48 centimeters squared. And remember the area of a triangle, right? Area of a triangle equals 1 half base times height. So that's 1 half. My base is this 6 right here. My height, they give it to me as 4. So half of 6 is going to be 3 times 4, so that's 12. All right, so I've got my 12 centimeters squared. I'm going to add that to my 48, add that to my 7. All that work put together. Let's see, that's 10, that's 17. How did I do? 67. Hey, we got one right there on top of that. So my 7 centimeters for my two semicircles. My 48 centimeters squared for my rectangle, 12 centimeters squared for my triangle. Add it all together, a composite figure is going to be F, 67 square centimeters. 